Mount Everest shock, bombshell discovery stunned scientists, and 1.4 billion people are at risk. This has to do with the third pole of the world. The third pole, meaning that it is iced over and has a tremendous amount of water locked in the glaciers there. Mount Everest is one of the most rapidly warming regions of the planet. Scientists discovered a new feature appearing in the mountains which could have devastating circumstances. Just as the North and South Poles are melting, the ice sheets are melting, so are the ice sheets melting over Mount Everest. Bill McCollin of Express UK reports. The Hindu Kush Himalayan region, that's the third pole, and it covers 4.2 million square miles, square kilometers, sorry, one point, that's 1.6 million square miles. It supplies Asia's largest river systems and supplies an estimated 1.4 billion people, according to Science Magazine, and studying images between 1993 to 2018 from NASA's Landsat satellites, scientists from Exeter University of the UK analyze the spread of vegetation across the region in certain areas in their study which was published in Global Change Biology. The increase in shrubs and grasses, vegetation, appearing across certain areas of the Himalayas could increase the risk of flooding while also indicating warmer conditions or, as the report termed it, as a removal of temperature limitation. Analyzing the highest region above the trees, tree-like, the tree line that has seasonal but not permanent snow cover, the sub nivel zone, researchers, researchers found vegetation increased drastically in the last 25 years. Dr. Karen Anderson of Environment and Sustainability Institute on Exeter's Penryn campus in Cornwall said a lot of research has been done on ice melting in the Himalaya region, including a study that shows how the rate of ice loss doubled between 2000 and 2016. And she says if the ecology is changing, that will have impacts on the hydrology. Nobody's considered that before. Snow falls and melts subnival zone seasonally, that's the tree lines, and we don't know what impact changes changing subnival vegetation will have on this aspect of the water cycle, which is vital because this region known as Asia's water towers feeds the 10 largest rivers in Asia. Also, due to the zone having seasonal snow, if the conditions were to change, Anderson said that the areas could see quicker melt rates and an increased risk of flooding. Despite the discovery, it's not completely known how more vegetation may affect the region's water supply in the future. But an increase in vegetation would suggest warming temperatures, while plants in the area will also absorb more light and warm the ice. Anderson said this sub nivel zone is where seasonal snow is held, and if it's warmer, you will get flashy hydrology, quicker melt rates, and an increased risk of flooding. Even though there could be serious implications for the region due to the size of the area which researchers are trying to analyze. It's hard to evaluate the changing dynamic of the climate. Anderson said that it's important to monitor and understand ice loss in major mountain systems, but sub ecosystems cover a much larger area than permanent snow and ice, and we know very little about them and how they moderate water supply. There's hardly any ecological data from this region at all. The Hindu Kush Himalayan region extends across all or part of eight countries in Asia. And thanks to Google's new earth engineering engine technology, the researchers were able to revolutionize how they work and evaluate the large region much more than before. The technology allows researchers to freely access government agency satellite data from the cloud, and before the technology was created, researchers would have to build a supercomputer to go through the data. Anderson concludes that the detailed studies into vegetation in the high Himalayas needs to be done to understand the true effects of global warming in this region. She said, what does the change in vegetation mean for hydrology? The properties of water in the region is one of the key questions. Will that show slow down the melting of glaciers 
and ice sheets or will they accelerate this process? We really don't know much about this area and we need to direct research attention towards it because it's a major part of the water supply story in the Himalayas. And as we said, it's the Earth's third pole. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.